Hey, Mom. Mom. Mommy. Yes, sweetie? What's the matter? You have to see my new gotcha video. I put a lot of effort into it. I know you're gonna love it. I'd love to see... My two pervert alphas gotcha life original mini-movie? Uh, honey, where did you learn this language? My gotcha boyfriend told me, cause he's my alpha, and I'm his little ooh beta. We're mating. You're what? This is what I imagine a normal interaction in Milk and Tea's house would look like after a long day of making some of the worst cringe I've ever had the misfortune of laying my eyes on. And if I have to suffer, so do you. So, let's check some out. This makes me really uncomfortable. Obviously, the creator has a fantasy for being fought over by two pervy gotcha men. And it's just a real red flag for me. Like, imagine going to the park with these two. Woof, park, park. Woof, she's our girl. Frickin' furries. The alpha's cute little bodyguard. I'm kinda seeing a theme here, where it's like two gotcha alpha men and one wolf girl in a normally aggressive scene, except since it's one of Milk and Tea's videos, they're all blushing as if it was like arousing. Bro on the right kinda kinda look like he listened to Boulevard of Broken Dreams. I'm pretty sure unconsented restraint will land you in a happy little place called court at the very least. Ahem. <clears throat> It's time to pay up, homie. Four brothers, one sister. I'm having a really hard time deciphering which ones are the brothers and what is going on here. Cause like, I, I wanna assume that the two blue-headed kids in the back are like clearly related, right? But then that leaves four other guys. So does that mean these other two surrounding her are not related to her? And if so, this is literally the third time we've seen this dynamic. Tomboy's two alpha lovers? Gotcha Life mini-movie. You know what, I'm not even surprised at this point. Uh, this is not even surprising. For real, guys? For real? Is this more of an unlawful restraint? Because I'm gonna start finding these little gotcha men. The Tomboy's cute alpha. Okay, okay, back at the frick up. It feels like we've reversed our roles now. It's no longer uh, two alpha men going after a gotcha girl. It's two tomboy girls going after a gotcha dude. That's unique. Not really, but nice. My roommate is Mr. Flirty Jerk. Okay, you know what I just said like 10 seconds ago that you were improving? Uh, at least it isn't like my little phonics or something creepy, okay? So good job, you're, you're improving. I lied, you're not. Please never make this again. Shirtless gotcha men, more unconsented restraint, another $5,000 bill, and a weird hair coming out of her eye. For the record, it is not hot to call your alpha gotcha character Mr. Flirty Jerk. You're not my alpha. Okay, before we even start, I want you to see what the first five seconds of this video is. Okay, now you get the mood of the video. Okay, great. A hybrid in an all alpha school. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I actually like the hair design on that chick, but I'm also gonna be real. Can we please stop with the a blank in an all blank school? A person in an all person school just made an original gotcha title. You're welcome. Nope. Living with the Vampire Brothers. <coughs> Gross. Uh, gotcha Club Mini Movie. We're back to multiple men and one little gotcha woman. Not the vibe. The Pervert Playboy is my bodyguard. Gotcha Club Mini Movie. Okay, stopping you right there. I am this close to walking out of recording this video right now. An alpha in an all human school. I am on my knees right now begging you to stop making these videos. Alpha, you're not. You're still weak. Oh my gosh. Is that another alpha? But I thought she was the only alpha in the human school. Oh no. Could this be plot convenience? Oh gosh. What'll she ever do? It's not like they're gonna fall in love or something, right? His cute but mean girlfriend. I had to go to the top of the screen right here, hi, so that you could see the two insignificant characters in the backgrounds and their angsty expressions, right. So friendly reminder, if your significant other is mean, 
dump them. The elf is cute, perverted pup. Uh, okay, let's get something straight here. The word pup should never be used in a suggestive sentence. That's gross. It's like a normal gotcha thumbnail, but they like switch the roles. Usually it's like the dude doing that and the girl being like, oh my gosh, he's sticking his gotcha tongue out. And, and now it's just like the opposite, which is kind of hilarious. Babysitting the gangster's sister. What babysitting job has you wearing a maid outfit? I want you to look at this real quick. Let me, let me scooch up. That's creepy. Um, yeah, so I don't know if this is really a babysitting job, but I don't think wearing that would really affect how you work, so I don't understand why you're wearing it. Also, the sister looks kind of wholesome. Two alphas, one school. If they weren't gotcha characters, and that wasn't the title, I feel like they would be cool characters together. But no, not like this, no. Let's not make them little alpha rivals in school and all that crap. Can't you just give them like a happy life together? Also, what the frick is that cat girl doing over there? I feel like she's that jealous chick that literally just exists for plot convenience and has zero personality. Just, just guessing. The rich playboy and his cute peasant human maid. We're back to adding as many adjectives into a gotcha title as we can. If she is your maid, which is creepy, but she's a peasant, are you paying her like below minimum wage? Do you know you could also go to court for that? Did you want to fine as well? I, I didn't think so, but like, it seems like a lot of gotcha alpha men do. I'd like to formally thank you for suffering with me. It's nice to be in good company. Coming up are links to my other roasting videos. Check them out and leave a like if you want to see more. Goodbye.